So my name is Adriel Charles and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, which is located in the Caribbean. So today I'm going to be talking about the underdevelopment problematic that the Caribbean nations face and understanding why exactly are we in the position that we are in in our modern contemporary society. So progression through reflection. Think of where you are now. Think about how the past has led you to this direct moment. The expression, we are a sum of our total experiences, dates back to the writings of Aristotle and has been retold and repurposed in our modern society. However, when we think of this, being the creatures we are, we mainly think of ourselves. We think about what subjects or courses we could have done during our formative years that would have led us to this, to this current career path or the future that we envision now. What if I told you that this problem is even bigger than ourselves? Imagine a nation that you are a citizen or a resident of. Think of the story of independence you have learned from your youngest days and heard retold at holidays related to national pride. Ask yourself, who was the nation before it became independent? What did it mean to be a citizen before independence? What does it even mean now? And most importantly, what will it mean in the future? One or two or 10 years from now? When I think of the Caribbean, I picture it as a frangipani of the plumeria species that's native to the Americas and popular within the region. I am from Trinidad and Tobago, an island depicted as a perfect paradise, the land of sun, sea, sand, and revelry. But who were we before we were, to, before we were liberated? Caribbean literary artist Stuart Hall illustrated the Caribbean as having its identity forcefully rewritten over several centuries. The history of the region is rich in its division and defined by its physical and financial enslavement. Paul even described the region as being unique, as we are a space that has been made up of a multicultural diaspora. Our history dates back to the indigenous peoples, the Europeans, the Africans, the Asians, and the list is quite literally endless. You may be wondering, what exactly does this have to do with the Caribbean that we know now? For us, our past has been the defining moment of our place in the international community. The enterprise of the Indies marks the genesis of the Caribbean considered today. Fueled by capitalist intent, the region was populated and trained to be producers of goods for the main European market. Our primary purpose was to be mono exporters of sugarcane, which was processed and consumed as the as sugar we know today. As a region, our development, or lack thereof, stems from segregation through the plantation society. Enslaved persons were identified treated and divided based on ethnicity and sex. Divide and conquer, a theme that governed the region during the 15th to 19th century. Families were separated upon entering the new world. Cultural systems native to regions outside of Europe, such as matriarchy and polytheism, were replaced by modern day Western culture. A region rich in human and natural resources was subjugated to systemic underdevelopment and coerced into becoming dependent economies. Nations developed to benefit the very region that exploited it, but not enough to actually sustain its own independence. Our education in many cases is still shaped by the European system and many national languages, the most important and defining characteristic of a nation is still influenced by Europe. For the contemporary Caribbean, this has always been a point of concern. Knowing the past, which identity do I adopt? On the one hand, the nations that have been used place great value on European culture. In the change of power during the independence movement of the 1960s, the leaders of the region had all been educated in England. Even in independence, these colonies still influence our democracy. On the other hand, you have states wanted to cherish and embrace the rich culture of its ancestors. Does it mean we immediately cease learning standard European languages and only speak in patois or creole? Now that I know my past, where do I go from here? Who do I become with this information? Regional integration has been one of the key aspects in charting the course, we charting the course of the new Caribbean, though it does not come without its failures and setbacks. Our history has been construed by othering of different groups. We were built on exclusion and the belief that certain groups were better than others because of their practices. 
This practice was translated even during the regionalist movement during the 1950s. Movements such as Pan-Africanism, Negritude, Garveyism, etc., were all popular and promoted the celebration and acceptance of our African roots and syncretized Caribbean identities. Yet, when it came to practice, things quickly fell apart. Attempts at regional integration at a large scale also suffered the same fate due to internal disputes and some external challenges also. So where do we go from here? Some may say that it's almost impossible to progress after reflecting on the history that has illustrated some of our weakest moments. But, I can but one thing I can tell you is that Caribbean people are innovative and resilient. Like the Frangipani, we have already been through so much as, a, as young nations, yet we do not let that deter us from making strides towards integration, collective and interdependent development. In recent years, more emphasis has been placed on our local cultures, particularly within the education system. Creole languages are becoming ad accepted at the advanced high school and even at the university level. Examinations are now centered around the lived Caribbean experience, embracing our history and using it as a point of reference rather than the only defining moment of our existence. Our history is being written from the perspective of those who experience and those who have been victims of it. While we may be leaps and bounds from our desired goal, we are on the right track. We are and always have been resilient. We, the youth, are the new generation, the pillar of hope for a developing region. The future of a region is entirely dependent on the choices we actively make today. For us in Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension the Caribbean, progression can only be achieved through reflection. Like the old adage states, those who do not learn from history are only doomed to repeat it. The seemingly perpetual cycle of underdevelopment can be broken by developing, maintaining, and celebrating our own identity, as well as achieving regional integration. Thank you.